So, in this topic, the solution of linear simultaneous equation, there are two methods by which we solve linear simultaneous equations. First method is called direct method, second is iterative method. In our study, we will be studying these three direct methods, Gauss elimina elimination method, Gauss Jordan method, then factorization method, which is also called Doolittle's method or LU, that is lower and upper triangular matrix uh, decomposition method. Then iterative methods are those methods in which, see, in direct methods, we find the exact solution. Iterative methods, we approximate the value of the variables. And wh what we do then? We repeat the process to, be to make better and better approximation. That is iteration. So we'll be, we'll be studying Jacobi's uh, method, Gauss Seidel iteration method, relaxation method, and Rayleigh's power method. So this is the syllabus of this course. Now let's see the topic for today. In the last lecture, we had seen Gauss elimination method of solution of linear simultaneous equation. What we had done? We had transformed the A matrix into an upper triangular matrix. Thereby, for the last variable that was z, we had a simple equation z equal to something. Then by back substitution, we got the value of y and from the values of y and z into equation 1, we got x. So, we obtained all the values of x, y, z. Gauss-Jordan method is basically a modification of Gauss elimination method. How? What we do? We have this A matrix as a11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. For three variables, we have three linear simultaneous equations. The A matrix for which is this. This we have dealt in our first lecture. Now what we do in Gauss elimination method, we simply make these two these three variables as these three coefficient as zero we do we operate on the matrix and we make these three variables sorry these three coefficients zero so that we get a get an upper triangular matrix and then we have equation for x y z in gauss jordan method what we do we we operate on the a matrix and make it a diagonal matrix once we make it a diagonal matrix, what we have? Our value of x, y, z will be clear from the matrix only because if we have values for this only and all these three here and three values, if these values be um, zero, we have only, let's say this is a, so a x equal to b. So we'll have only x, y, z. So the matrix will reflect the values of x, y, z only. So this is a modification of Gauss elimination method. Let's see how we do it. We had solved this, uh, these three linear simultaneous equations through Gauss's elimination method. Now we will solve this by Gauss Jordan method. What will be A matrix? A will be, or let's not say about A matrix. Let's say what, how can we write it in matrix form? Like this 1, 1, 1. Then we have 2, minus 3, 4, then 3, 4, 5 into x, y, z equal to 9, 13, 40. So this is our equation in matrix form. What we have to do is, we have to reduce this into a diagonal matrix. So let's start with this. Let our first operation be, see, this is 2. So if we multiply it row 1 by 2 and then row 2 minus row 1, this will be 0. So this will be our first. Our first operation will be R2 minus 2 R1 
And similarly, on R3 also we can do R3 minus 3R1. R3 minus 3R1. Let's see what will be the result. This minus 2R1. So this is 2, 2, 2. <coughs> Let this be 1, 1, 1. This is 2, 2, 2. So 2 minus 2, 0. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 5. 4 minus 2, 2. This is 3 minus 3. This is 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 R1. We have written 3 R1. So this is 3 minus 3, 0. 4 minus 3, 1. 5 minus 3, 2. So this is our first matrix. Then we'll have to apply on this, on the RHS. R2 minus 2 R1. This minus 2 R1. So 13 minus 18, that is, sorry, we have to operate on R2 only. So 13 minus 18 is minus 5. Then this minus 3 R1, this is 27, 3 into 9, 27, 40 minus 27, that is 13. So this is first operation. Now let's see the second operation. Okay, the second operation that we will do, we will try to make this 0. Let's see how. Our second, this was our first operation. Our second operation will be R3 plus 1 by 5 R2. Why? 1 by 5 will be minus 1 and then when we will add this, this will become 0. So, let's see what we will get. This is 1, 1, 1. Then R2, we are not disturbing R2 right now, 0 minus 5, 2 and then what we said, R3 plus 1 by 5 of R2, 1 by 5 of R2 is this is 0, so 0 plus 0 is 0, this 1 by 5 of this, so minus 1, so this is 0, this plus 1 by 5 of this, that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 by 5, what is this? 10, 12, that is, we will get 12 by 5 here. Okay. So, this is our first matrix, then x, y, z. <coughs> we had done operation on third matrix only, R3 plus 1 by 5 of R2. So, this is 1 by 5, of this is minus 1. What was R2? 13. So, 13 plus minus 1, that is 12. This is our second operation, the result of second operation. Now, what we will do? See, this is 5, 12 by 5. This is, this will create problem for us. So, let us multiply R3 by 5. And this is minus, let us do it plus. You will see why. So, our third operation will be multiply R2 by minus 1. That is minus R2 and multiply R3 by 5. Let us see what happens. Our first remains same, first row. Second row what we did? Minus of this. So, this is 0, 5, minus 2 and then uh, 5 R3. So, this is 0, 0, 12. This is, now you understand, we will make it from here, we will make it 0. So, this is x, y, z. This is 9, then minus r2, so 5, and then 12 into 5, that is 60. This is our, this is the result of third operation. Now, let us see fourth operation. What we will do? See, we have to make it 2. So that this and this becomes 0. Let us see how. Our fourth operation will be R2 plus R3 by 6. This plus this by 6. So that this becomes 0. This is our goal to make it 0. We have to make this 0, this 0 and this 0. So R2 plus R3 plus 6, this will be, be 0 then. And 1 by 12 of R3, so that this becomes 1. This is 1, 1, 1. 
R2 plus R3 by R6. R3 by 6. This plus this, this is 0. This plus this by 6. So this is 5. This plus this by 6. So minus 2 plus 2, 0. And then we do operation on R3. That is 1 by 12 into R3. This is 0, 0 and then 1. This is what we get. This is X, Y, Z. So, what is the RHS? R2, this is 9, R2 plus R3 by 6. So, this by 6 is 10. So, 5 plus 10, 15. Then R3 by 12. So, 60 by 12, 5. This, are, this is our next matrix. Matrix equ equation in matrix form. Now, what to do? Let's make it 0. How? First of all, we will have to make this 1. How can we make it 1? Multiply by, fifth op operation, multiply R2 by 1 by 5. R2. Then this will be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. We have multiplied R2 by 1 by 5. So, 0, 0, 1. This is x, y, z equal to 9, 1 by 5, that is 3, 5. Okay? This is our equation. Now, what we have to do? We have to make these two 0. How can we make these two 0? We can R1 minus R2, this will become 0 and then minus R3, this will become 0. Very simple. So, our final operation will be R1 minus R2 minus R3. So, we are operating on R1 now. This is 1, this minus this 0, this minus this 0. Then 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then is our x, y, z. R1 minus R2 minus R3. So, 9 minus 8, that is 1. This is 3, this is 5. So, by Gauss-Jordan method, that is the modification of the Gauss elimination method, we can directly see X is equal to 1, Y is equal to 3, Z is equal to 5. So, Gauss-Jordan method is another direct method of solution of linear simultaneous equation. We, what we do through elementary row transformation, we transform this matrix, the first matrix A, into a diagonal matrix. And then we have the values of x, y, z directly, we can see it directly. Okay.